They're looking for truth. They're not looking for Islam. They're not looking for the Quran. They're just looking for truth, real truth. And because there's only one God and only one way to get to God, it has to be on his terms and there's only one way. And we said it in Adina, in the Lahi, Islam. The only thing Allah wants from you is this simple thing, your heart. That's what he wants. Give him your heart and everything else will be fine. And how you do that? I'm going to give you five words in the English language. They have to be all at the same time. Surrender, submission, obedience, sincerity, and peace. Do you want those things in your life? Yes, sir. I do too. Everybody in this room wants those things. All at the same time though, surrender, submission, obedience to his commandments. You know the Ten Commandments. We got the same thing. It's the same thing. It's not a new religion. And then sincerity. To be sincere. No lies. No showing off. No riyah for Allah only. And finally, to be in peace with whatever he gives you. Say, okay, thank you. Even if you like it, thank you. If you don't like it, thank you. Anyway, because it's from him. Be in peace with it. This word in Arabic is one. It takes five words in English. You know what the word is in Arabic? No. Islam. Islam. Really? That's the word. Just confirm that you believe that God is really only one God. I do believe there is okay. only one God. So now say after me, I swear. I swear. There is no God to worship except Allah. There is no God to worship except Allah. And I swear. And I swear. That Muhammad is his prophet. That Muhammad is his prophet. Allah.
Now this next part is Arabic. It means the same thing, but when you say it, you're going to be saying the language that God sent it down in. The same language similar to Jesus and Abraham and Muhammad. You ready? I'll help you. Okay. Ashhadu. Ashadu. An la. Halla. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa. Wa. Ashadu. Ashadu. An Muhammad. An Muhammad. Rasulullah. Bismillah. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Perfect. Insha'Allah. Alhamdulillah. How did I do that? Now, we have some, I have some books that I want to give you. And you, you have to, uh, you take care of it. You come to the program with me after this. Bring it back there. Take care of it. This is my son. He's my guest. This is good. MashaAllah, this is exactly what Islam is. Once you present the truth, the truth is accepted. Shall we take the next question from the sister side? And preferably if we have non-Muslim guests here, then we would like to have a question from the sister side from a non-Muslim sister, please. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. While we're getting the question up, uh, I wanted to say something to you. I want you to listen carefully. Gabriel has just entered Islam. A lot of us need to do the same thing. And you know what I meant by that. We have Muslim names, but do we really, really put it into practice? M my new brother and I were just crying, holding each other. And I was reliving the experience of 19 years ago. And I needed somebody to hold me then and cry with me. Because what's happening, the reason we cry, you don't know this, we do. Because we feel this rahmah of Allah, the mercy of Allah coming over us, which is washing away the sins since the day we were born. It's the message Jesus preached. It's the message John the Baptist preached. It's the message that Muhammad Wasallam preached that if you accept God as the one and only Savior, all your sins are forgiven and you're newborn just like you came out of your mother. This man, Jibril, Gabriel, has no sins at all. He is pure in front of Allah. His prayers are being accepted right now, whatever he prays for. And Gabriel, I'm gonna ask you with me right now, we'll pray, pray with me, just say Amin. I say Allahumma, O oh Allah, give Hidayah, to Yusuf Estes, say Amin. Amin. And for all of us, Amin. I was collecting my commission check up front.